In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Hornbill's Project Manager and the Project Portfolio. I start by accessing Project Manager from the Hornbill menu, which takes me to the portfolio. As this can be used by multiple teams, departments, or even branches of a company, not only could the number of projects become very large, there may also be a need to control visibility and access to some or all of the projects. So if you're a project manager, a sponsor, or any other participant in a project, the My Projects list will only show the projects where you've been added as a stakeholder. And equally, any project where you're not a stakeholder, these will be securely hidden away. The portfolio comes with two separate views, a card view providing a slightly more visual list of the projects, or the more detailed list view on the list view, we can see the name of the project, who the project manager is, the type of project, who last updated the project and when. We can also see a progress bar letting us know how close we are to reaching our next milestone. The status simply lets us know if the project is currently active or not. And finally, an option to favor the project. Selecting this will add the project to the favorites list making it easier to locate the projects that you work with the most. The Project Risks view summarizes all of the current risks for the projects that you're currently involved in. The Risk description lets you identify each of those risks. At a glance, you're able to see the different levels of risk that are currently outstanding displayed by the weighting levels, and with a click, bring the highest level risks to the top. Additional filters let you quickly narrow down the list, starting with the risk status, where you may only want to show confirmed risks. And next, we can select to only show the risks at a high level weighting. And finally, one of the most important options from the portfolio is the ability to create a new project.